Okay, so this is Docking Station, um, which is part of the Creature series. Um, in this game, you have the you have creatures called Norns, which are basically artificial life. And I'm gonna start with two pre-trained adults. Um, so and call them Adam and Eve. Um, now these guys, they have, um, I think I'm going to turn off creatures' voices because that's annoying. They have um, a complex biochemistry. Um, they, like, they have a um, couple hundred different um, chemicals in their body that um, affect them in various ways um, and interact with each other. Um, there are certain chemicals that if they get too high or too low, the norm will die. And these are influenced, the levels of these chemicals are influenced by other chemicals. Um, like, for example, if it, it, they can starve to death, for example, be if they don't, because when they eat food, it gets turned into, like, glucose, which gets turned into glycogen, which is used to generate energy, and it's, it's a very complex system. Um, and they also have a neural network. Um, they will learn from experience, like, um, I'll grab this thing. This thing tells you how the Norn's feeling. Um, and you can look at the drives. The drives are um, basically motivation for the Norn. Um, and when the Norn does an action, they learn, they'll learn over time which actions increase drives and which actions decrease drives. And they'll learn that, for example, when they're hungry, they should eat. Um, by the way, these guys have three different types of hunger, which reflect like different dietary needs. Um, but yeah, these guys will, um, they'll learn, um, from their experiences. They also have some instincts to start them off, but they will, um, a as they get more experience, they will learn things as well. And I'm going to put them together here. Um, see if I can convince them to. All right. Um, another interesting thing about them is they actually have, uh, um, like, what determines their, the shape of their brain and their, and the pattern, some of the patterns of their biochemistry is their genome. Um, and if you look at this, this is her moniker, it's a unique identifier, and in a, in one of the folders in the program, I will have um, a file that is basically this file name dot gen and that is Eve's genome and um, they have a few it, hundred genes and um, these all of um, determine what they're going to be like and um, these guys because they were like cloned as pre-trained adult norns they don't have any crossover points or point mutations, but their children will, and that, that means that over the generations, they will evolve. And Eve is now pregnant, so if I go to her life history thing, you'll see it, one, it records events that happen in her life. Um, and if I click on this, I can look at the information about her kid, who is currently in an egg, and so there's not that much, but if I go here, you can see here's his um, moniker, and he has some crossover points and point mutations. Now, chances are we're not going to notice these because most mutations don't actually have an impact on the Norn, which is actually quite realistic. Most mutations in real life don't have an impact on you. Um, but 
every so often you'll get a mutation that does have an impact, and if it's a bad effect, then the Norn is less likely to reproduce, and if it's a good effect, then the Norn is more likely to reproduce, and over time, um, they'll, um, you'll end up with the Norns being better at reproducing. Um, and anyway, so it's a it's a pretty um, interesting thing. Um, all right, I'm going to stop for now, and next video is going to be about what happens with this new arrival. So.